There are a number of blocks we can add as a teacher to our course to display important information to our learners. If we scroll down under the Hidden Navigation and Administration block, we can see a block called Upcoming Events, and what's visible in this block depends on what's been added to the calendar, either as a course teacher or site-wide by the administrator. If we move further down, we can see there's a Latest News block, and anything here is connected to postings in the News Forum, a news forum appears by default at the top of every course as we have here and the course teacher would add information there about events and notices. It's not a proper forum because students can't reply to it. You can change its name as we've seen to announcements or course notice board and whenever you post something there it appears in the latest news block. A useful block also would be the calendar block and to add any blocks we need to turn the editing on, either by clicking the Turn Editing On button or, in the Administration block, by clicking the link Turn Editing On. There is a drop-down called Add a Block and it appears on the right or left according to your theme and when you click, you can see the blocks which haven't yet been added. If it's already been added, such as our latest news block, it won't appear here, although some of them can be duplicated. Let's click to add the calendar block. When the page refreshes, the block appears and if we want to move it, we simply grab hold of it and we can drag it into the position that we want. To add an event, if we click on the month and then choose the day and the event, it's important to know that as a course teacher, we can only add events to the calendar relating to our course or user events which anyone can add that are just private to them. A site administrator can add events for the site that everyone will see, as we see in the upcoming events block.